In 1886, an American, Josephine Cochran, built a motorized wheel with wire compartments for dishes, turning inside a copper tank filled with soapy boiling water. But it wasn't until the 1950s that domestic dishwashers came on the market. And arguments about who did the dishes were gone forever. Building a dishwasher starts with a watertight container called a tub. Some high-end models have stainless steel tubs. The rest have tubs made of molded plastic, usually polypropylene. Workers screw two pairs of plastic wheels to each side of the tub. They'll support the sliders on which the upper dish rack moves. The lower dish rack rolls along the bottom of the tub. This steel frame helps strengthen the tub. They fix a steel plate at the bottom to shield the plastic from the heat of the motor. Then they attach steel legs to the frame. They install a rubber reservoir called the sump. It collects the water that flows to the bottom of the tub. They screw in a two-part ring to hold the sump in place. The heating element is a ceramic insulated iron cable. This filter traps food particles washing off the dishes. After fitting an O-ring seal to make the sump leak proof, they secure the heating element by screwing ceramic insulators to the protruding connectors. Now for the polypropylene wash arms. This model has one at the bottom, with a tower that juts out for a larger spray span and a second wash arm at the top. The motor pumps clean water directly to the bottom wash arm and through this flexible hose to the top wash arm. Once they connect the hose, they spin the wash arm to make sure there's no obstruction. Meanwhile, workers connect key components to the dishwasher's circuit board. This metal box is the timer. It controls the wash and dry cycles. It activates this green lever to trigger the white lever to open the detergent dispenser at the right moment in the wash cycle. The detergent dispenser is located on a plastic panel that will line the dishwasher's door. They call this panel the inner door. The seal will prevent water from leaking out, and it also provides some soundproofing. A press runs over the inner door, driving the seal evenly all around. Now they screw the inner door to the outer door. The assembled door hooks onto hinges at the base of the tub. This machine presses the hook and hinge together so that the door doesn't come unhinged. The dishwasher's motor is relatively quiet because it uses an inherently low noise induction drive design. The white machine attached to the motor grinds up food particles so that they don't clog up the drain. The last technical step is to connect the various wires. Before applying the finishing touches, workers conduct a seal test. They flush each tub with water to check for leaks. In this portable dishwasher, workers install cement blocks as a counterweight so that the washer won't tip forward when you open the door. And because a portable usually sits in full view, it also needs sides and a top. This top is decorative laminate on medium density fiberboard. They screw it to what's called the wrapper, a three-sided panel made of painted steel that covers the sides and back. Clean look to go with your clean dishes. Now who's going to empty it? Not me.
I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take